What's up, guys? Welcome back to Digital Dive In. My name is Monkey. I'm, I'm Goofball. Goofball. And we got I'm a new Indy. guy. We got Indy here. Indy 90 short of 500. <laughs> I'm going to make that joke the entire time, just saying. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're here playing Red Dead Online, and we're going to be diving into uh, Red Dead Online. This is Phil's favorite game. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it quickly became my number one game about 20 minutes into the campaign. Yeah, we just spent like half an hour killing each other, so <laughs> we're actually ready to actually start all, doing something. We're all refreshed and ready to go. We're all warmed up. More or less. <laughs> Our aim <laughs> is true and slightly skewed. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I have been playing this for like the last few weeks off and on. Uh, Phil has been playing whatever the fuck is possible for Phil to fucking play. And Indy, I have no idea. Indy's on his own. <laughs> I've been playing this game like all day, every day. Very nice. I still haven't even beat the base game, so I'm... I'm taking my I know, I haven't beaten the base game either, which sucks. <laughs> I don't want to, I've been okay. taking my time. I know, it's so good of a story, I don't want to have it end. <laughs> right, exactly. But as for the online mode, I mean... Oh, evade assassination by what? Well, alright. Okay, so we've been targeted for assassination by fucking someone. And that right, means my ho up. our horse is probably going to fucking die. Hopefully so, um, not. If I'm anything, gonna, we can get off our horse gonna, and just yeah. hang out somewhere. Uh, flee, get out of here. Patrick and Indy, come to me. I'm, all right. Where are you? We gotta find our top of a hill or something. Oh, that's a good. A idea. lot of cover. But anyways, uh, as for the online mode, there is a lot that was put into it, and I mean the beta had a bit of a rocky start, especially with the whole like yeah. economy thing. Yeah, the economy is a little skewed, but you know at the same time it's just gonna have to make you play more to get more. Yeah. And yeah, they do have the. They're not shark cards anymore, they're gold bars, but yep. still, like, if you want to make money, you're going to have to work your butt off, or you can just buy it. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the... Oh, shit. I have no more energy. <laughs> um, honestly, the like economy didn't really bug me that a whole lot. Like, everything was just super expensive. But I found that it definitely encouraged you to use, like, the mechanics of the game a lot more. Like the hunting, yeah, hunting just, still has value. Yeah, it has a lot, a hell of a lot more value than it did in the base game. Because base game, you like after you got like halfway through the game, you got like a shit ton of money, and then you could just buy everything, and you didn't have to worry about money anymore. So I was like, okay, so I didn't need to hunt for food. I didn't need to sell pelts. I didn't need to do anything like that. I could just you know chill with my four grand. <laughs> Which is nice, and that's a problem oh, I wish I could yeah. struggle with. Right, seriously. But now, <laughs> it's no, like, money is super fucking scarce. Yeah, that's good. Money is super fucking scarce. Uh, food is expensive as ah. balls, for no reason. I found out that hunting is a lot more... Uh, you can use it more, and it works better, because, like, the meat that you get from hunting fills, like, all your bars. Yeah, which is really nice. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. And I didn't notice that in the base game. I was like, oh shit, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> that's hella nice. It actually wasn't in the base game. Different foods had different uh, yeah. values. But yeah, and then even like getting herbs and finding wild food and shit like that they, is even better for like feeding your horse. And it, it all just works better than it did in the base game. And I'm really, really happy about that. <laughs> yeah, they did a good job. But, oh, the guy that set us up for target is all the way down in San Denis, so I oh, think we're yeah. good. <laughs> I don't know why the fuck. When I saw the there. red on the map. I thought yeah. it was a lot closer. Because it, it makes it look like it's like right there. It's like, oh wait, he's fucking forever away. Yeah, which is something else I don't appreciate about yep. this game. Like, yeah. Although we are having some other company coming up soon. Yeah, but I don't think we have to worry about them. But yeah, like he's this the, is this is no, the same issue coming, actually. But... Definitely. This is the same issue I had with fucking GTA Online. The whole, like, map, how you can literally see everyone all the damn time. Yeah. I think that's the most annoying thing in the world. Because there's yeah, some assholes on here. <laughs> there's a lot of assholes on, like, 
Red Dead Online and GTA Online are as volatile as Reddit is, and it is like frustrating. And that's half the reason I don't yeah, play Yeah, I don't online. understand that, honestly. I don't understand why people in online games just grief each other. That's all they do. Yeah. And that's half the reason I didn't get Fallout 76, because I knew that's all it was going to be. I'm like, nah, that's, I'm just going to get bored by this, like, real fast. Yeah. But, like, in, in GTA Online, you could see everyone the same as you could here. You can even look them up by name as you can here. Like, I think a much better way of doing it would be, like, their little mm -hmm. emblems wouldn't pop up until you're actually close to them. That'd be cool. That'd be really nice, because, like, people just hunt you down. <laughs> this is like, why? Yeah, and I prefer, like, kind of living my own life, so I try and right? disappear as much as possible, and it's hard in this game, because they're it constantly is. coming at me. Okay, so, everyone, I don't way, think that's something that Rockstar will fix. I don't think it is either. I think they did that on purpose. To like force people to yeah. interact with each other, but like. Well, they want shootouts, Wild West yeah. style, which I get, but it's you know. It funny. was even it's even gonna be more annoying as the game goes on because if you remember in GTA Online, like once people got like the hover bike and infinite ammo in your fucking rock rocket uh, launcher, there's there's no not even a fucking chance you could survive. Like people just drive by, explode you, and drive away. It's like oh well, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, it's crap. And it's going to get even worse in this game, I guarantee it. As people unlock, like, the repeater shotguns and just walk up to you and BAM! Bye bye. <laughs> it's like, okay, fuck me then. I guess yeah. I'll die. Hopefully they come up with some type of body armor or something. Yeah, something. I would like that, but at the same time, I kind of doubt it. <laughs> hey, we survived. Well, at Maybe least we, we got should... eight bucks from that. Right? Maybe we should put a hit on them and go hunt their them down. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going down in the sand and need to chase him. Yeah, fuck sand and It's but, fun. Yeah. It's definitely the Wild West. It's oh, just yeah. I wish it was kind of... That is one thing I think would be cool. If they made a town turn into like a free zone. Kind of like how I kind of wish the towns were the free zones. Just the... Just sand and If only sand and was a free zone. Like the island mm. that it sits on. Yeah, that's true. I would be cool like with that. that. Just make it like a hub world. Where people just come the rest and interact with each other. Wild and West. It is, and I and like I like it, but like you could walk in like when I first started, I totally forgot that you could lock your horse and shit, like you could in GTA. And I walked in to buy some shit, and I come back and my horse is gone. I'm like, well, fuck. <laughs> shit. Thanks. <laughs> so that was uh, greatly annoying. Man, yeah, well, that's the game. Also, another thing I greatly dislike is you can't just set up a small camp. Yeah, like wherever you please. Yeah. Yeah, that is like, a little aggravating. Because you can only cook shit in your regular base. I'm like, but no. Like, why? It's, like, uh, it's so annoying because I had to go, and you can move it, but it's still like $2 to move it. I was like, I want to spend the $2. Fuck that shit. Especially when you're short on money. It's like, nah. I'd rather just, you know, set up a small camp, cook some food, and then move on. But no, you have to go back to your camp, cook the food, and then move on. I'm like, oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> yeah. There's I a... like it, though. Like, it's definitely yeah. something different. I, I feel I like, like, like I have to cook food to get Oh, food no, yeah, no, I get that. I'd love that. But having to go back to your regular camp to cook all your food is the most annoying well, thing I in the think world. there's a way to make your camp move to you, but... Well, yeah, well, you can move it to different regions, but that's it. You can't move it to you. You can just move it to the region closest to you. Yeah. So I'm like, eh. I feel like I have more gripes with the online than I do, like, likes. For now, yeah, I'm kind of similar. There's definitely a lot of things that I hope they fix. Um, the economy, I'm okay with, but I hope they put yeah. more things in there for us to want to buy. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot that uh, they had during like GTA Online that they haven't fixed for Red Dead Online. Yeah. So. Uh, but again, it's new. We just got to yeah. give it time and let it kind of develop itself. Also, did you guys catch the uh, really, really sad um, Sean mission in Red Dead Online? That was kind of unexpected, honestly. Me too. Yeah. I was like, whoa. I mean, he what? definitely got better from the campaign. He looks a lot better. 
He does. But it is literally like what he was saying. It was like this whole world is like a whole different like it's still kind of tied to the base game, but like almost like purgatory. It's weird. Yeah. Because he was talking about how he just like lost his friends and stuff. I'm like, oh, Sean, <laughs> I feel so sad. <laughs> also, sorry, spoilers for Red Dead, <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't gotten to that point, then honestly, sorry. Yeah, that was kind of that was kind of like halfway through the game. So I mean, come on. But it was still really sad. I I liked it though. I really did. I did too. Oh, so, so I do, and that is another thing. I really appreciate how Red Dead Online has kind of taken a mission-focused approach oh, rather absolutely. than just a big open world, do crazy shit. Oh, absolutely, and that's a, definitely different from GTA Online. It's very G unique. GTA uh, Online was more like you know, group missions and mm -hmm. just random shit. Whereas yeah, which this you know this one is, but you yeah. can play it on your own if you wanted to, which is yeah. nice. But playing it on your own is very um, well difficult. <laughs> yeah, because you're gonna get killed a lot. Very fucking difficult. Yeah, because then I mean, you get it. I had the same issue, but at the same time, I did have a really fun experience where a group of people were griefing me and chasing after me, and <laughs> I had to run away. And because this isn't GTA, or it's not super advanced in GTA, yeah. like GTA was, I was actually able to use my skills as a gunman and like put myself on a position where you I could fight them. skills as a gunman? Oh, in this game? Hell yeah. <laughs> no, I am a horrible... Well, you would know from our five am... headshots to start this game. <laughs> Seriously. I am absolutely trash without Deadeye, and I... That's another thing. The Deadeye in the online mode is like totally pointless yeah I mean it depends on what you use I'm using paint it black so anytime my gun pans over a part of your body that is partly a, a vital. vital point yeah it will lock on and it'll oh, put the red cool. X now I do like the cards and stuff that they do for the dead eye I think that's kind of cool it actually gives the dead eye some usability yeah, it gives you a chance to decide what you want to do. Yeah, it gives some customization to it, which I think is nice. But I think the com I think the combat in general is solid. I like it a lot better than GTA. Yeah, I like uh it's very similar, but it has a lot of pluses and minuses. Yeah. Oh yeah, go ahead, horse, take your time. <laughs> right, that's what I was fucking saying. <laughs> but I think the online for, for the most part, it's a sol it's a definitely a solid addition to Red Dead Redemption 2. I think yeah, it's what it's everyone was expecting. Yeah, I met all my expectations, honestly. I just kind of figured a big open world where people yeah. are going to be gunslinging at each other. But it's the people like, that had actual skill will win. Yeah. Because like I was saying earlier, um, I was getting chased by three guys. I was able to move myself up to a hill, get out of their like sight. And then when they came down the hill to come get me, I just picked them all off. Yeah, of course. I do like that you can still, like, loot fucking everything. I like that. Yeah, I really... I, I just just nice. go... Uh, really good recommendation. Go to the Braithwaite's house and just fucking loot the shit out of it. Because there's so fucking much there. Really? I didn't know that. Yes, there's, like... Because there's a huge house well, and there's something in every that. single room. Well, I do need to go to a gunsmith, and that's right near there. Yeah, I spent all the two hundred dollars <laughs> that uh, Rockstar gave me and put it all into my guns, so they're a little bit better. I mean, I still had the base guns, which I'm pissed about, but. I mean, I do too, but. I think it's yeah, another thing. I think that my them. biggest gripe with it, with this online mode, is just the uh, that ev literally even clothes and everything is locked behind ranks. Much you can more use than gold to unlock it early. Well, some of them you can, but some of them you can't though. One, my, of, one of my locked. biggest gripes. Yeah, which is fine. Just yeah, gives you something to work I, towards. Again, I get, I get the, I get why because the developers want you to actually, you know, level up and play the missions and shit. But like for those who don't play that much and just want to enjoy the customization and shit, like with GTA, all the almost none of the clothes were locked. No, that's not true. A lot of the clothes were locked. They just had a lot of options to begin with. That's true. That's fair. Like, they had a shit ton of options to, like, start you off. 
and then you as you went forward you got more stuff or different types of stuff yeah. but you could get so they had different versions of clothes mm -hmm. and they had clothes available in every one yeah, and then true. the further you played the more patterns and colors you got in this game it's actually styles and designs that are locked which again is really cool like the different customization mm -hmm. between characters like I have yet to see another character that looks like the same yeah, as it's another definitely character. it's definitely more like unique like you have more sense yeah. of individuality the face create or creation I was so happy for I was happy you could actually mold your character you weren't just kind of stuck with who well in the beta you were how that oh yeah that's you. true that's true well, even in GTA though, you weren't really stuck with that, because they get you could alter it a little bit. Yeah, you could change hair fact. and stuff, but like for the most part, that. your facial structure stayed the same unless yeah. you spent like a million dollars in <laughs> plastic <laughs> surgery yeah. or whatever it was. I, yeah, I do like that you could just choose from a preset and then alter it from there. That was kind of nice. Yeah, like I made my guy look like a salty old sailor. I made my guy look and as then, close to me as possible. <laughs> yeah, except, well, the beard looks good on your guy, so. Yeah, that's the beard know. I want to have. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. I kind of miss the, like, the hair growth and stuff that was in. Yeah, I mean, they kept the weight gain, which doesn't make sense. Of all things, they kept the weight gain. Well, I like it. It makes you have to balance what you, you got to pay attention. Yeah. I do hope they put like a weight bar though on your screens. Yeah. You, you don't really know. know. You, sit, you don't really you know. All all. <laughs> yeah, or you could tell a visual difference so far. That also, hasn't happened. Yeah. The core drain, I feel like, is a lot faster in the online mode. Or at least it was yeah, during I noticed the beta. that as well. Yeah. Like it's a it lot seems like quicker. it slowed like, down a little uh, bit, but yeah. still. Because in the part, beta, it was like you were in for like an hour and your core is drained like half. I'm like, holy shit, why? But anyways, um, what would you say your biggest gripe with the online mode is, Phil? <laughs> uh, so far, I think what everybody's is is the griefers. Yeah. Indie not so 500. Or everyone that's not a griefer. Yeah. Uh. Like, if you're busy doing something with friends and then, like, a random dude walks by and just shoots you for no fucking reason, it honestly gets irritating. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think that's gonna be everyone's biggest gripe with the game. I was gonna say, like, you have people, like, just chilling in, like, a town, too, waiting for people to come in and they start oh, picking yeah. them off to be annoying. That's, like, that yeah. happened to me yesterday and it was just really annoying. Yeah, I wish that they would make t at least some towns safe zones, especially Saint Denis and like, uh, what Valentine? Like the two yeah. biggest towns th should be safe zones for you to just go in, match make, uh, you know, make friends, that kind of shit. But yeah, uh, I get why Rockstar kept the whole map because the map is basically a carbon copy from GTA Online. Like, there's literally no difference. What? The, the map for... Well, I mean, not the map, but, like, the way the map is laid out. Like, how you can see everyone and uh, uh, interact with say, characters. Yeah. I'm not uh, saying, like, the actual, like, content in the map. I'm just saying that the map mechanics are essentially the exact same. Yeah, they're pretty similar. So, I kind of wish they had, you know, upgraded it a bit, updated it. But, eh, oh well. What would you say your favorite thing about it is, though? I mean, it's the Wild West. I just love running around the mid, like, the Wild West with friends. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? That's <laughs> <laughs> the you know what I mean? That was the best thing ever. All I see is him just walk up and then hop. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> Parallel parked a horse. What's up? <laughs> you got you got to show you mean business around these parts. <laughs> Seriously, assert your dominance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I would say my favorite thing about it is definitely like being able to utilize the mechanics of the game a lot more. I like that a lot. Yeah. Because that's something I like really didn't do much in the base game, so I'm happy yet. The hunting is more rewarding. Well, the hunting online had a really good deal. You just had to, you know. You mean do it. in the regular game? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, of course. But it's just you didn't need to. 
you know? In this one, you actually, like, it's better to hunt than buy food. Speaking about buying food, I'm going to buy true. some booze. Also, you have to really find out which uh, provisions are, like, the best in terms of, like, how much they fill up in your cores and how much they cost and everything. And um, the Guarma Rum is by far the best fucking thing for energy and Deadeye. Yeah. Because it's cheap and it fills up like half your shit. I'm like, very nice. Oh, no, I don't want chewing tobacco. Fuck chewing tobacco. I don't want. What's I don't wrong like doing. What? Well, I don't like doing that stuff because it brings down other parts of your cores. That's true. Fair enough. So, for that reason, the Guarma Rum doesn't break down any other part of your core. It just fills up your energy and dead eye. So, I'd rather do that. Some of the other brand. Some of the other liquors. Uh, bring down like your health the cigarettes and cigars bring down your energy and I'm trying to keep that shit filled as much as possible so you're trying to stay as vegan as possible I got exactly. you exactly. but anyways yeah I mean that's basically I mean anything else y'all want to say about Red Dead Online I love it and I can't wait to see what's what I first off I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like when they finally like go hard and get it done but well, on this top is of that, I, I mean, really can't the beta wait. is over. This is the game. Well, I mean, like in five <laughs> years. Oh like, yeah. What course. is this gonna look like? I wonder if I wonder if they're gonna put as much focus onto this as they did with GTA Online. And I kind of feel like they. Will. I so hope so. They better. I'm sure they will. I mean, I feel like this is kind of the new GTA. Like, yeah. They're kind of done with GTA now. Well, yeah. I mean, Which I don't I blame seen... them. This game is so. Of course, good. they're moving on. I'm interested to see what kind of like heists they add for this game and shit, because that's gonna be a lot of fun. Like pulling off like I know, like I had bank the, heists and stuff. I got the special something, so I'm wondering what special uh like that, they said something about a special heist coming out for people who bought the ultimate edition. I'm really, oh, really? curious what that's gonna end up being. Ooh. Yeah, fascinating. That so that's something we have to look forward to. <laughs> I'm trying to see if my horse is gonna jump off. <laughs> I want to see this. Nope, he's like, nah, bitch. What the fuck you think I am? A bunny? <laughs> it's so confused. At least use the stairs. It's so confused. I think. It, yeah, it is gonna use the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the horse physics and everything in this game are phenomenal. I mean, they suck, yeah. but they're phenomenal. <laughs> But anyways, guys, yeah, that's it for Red Dead Online. Let us know what you are enjoying about this game. Let us know what your thoughts are, uh, what your favorite thing is. Uh, let us know what, you're, what you absolutely hate about it as well. We're interested. Besides griefing. Everyone hates griefing. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, guys, do everything down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please slam that like button. Super slam. <laughs> If you're new to the channel and you want to see more of us diving into the latest news surrounding TV, video games, and movies, and talking about the latest games releasing, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you get notified whenever our videos go live. Indy Not So 500, Goofball, thank you so much for coming on. And thank you for having us. <laughs> yep. Guys, stay excellent, and we'll see you in the next dive-in.